Okay, so today we are going to be reviewing the uh, Harbor Freight Road Shock LED. I have um, a spot pair and a flood pair. I actually have two sets of each because I'm going to do a spot and a flood on the front of the truck. And I'm also going to do a spot and a flood on the rear of the truck where my bumper has a, uh, a spot to mount the lights in. Um, so I'm going to do the unboxing shortly here but first we need to get the mounts on the hood of the truck installed so we'll get going on that so i have already unboxed the flood pair pretty much the same thing on the spot pair i'll show you guys so the um, flood pair actually got on sale for 65 dollars at harbor freight Fortunately, the spot pair was not on sale, so this was the full 89. We have our mounting hardware with an Allen key for each light. And it actually comes with this very nice looking connector. So we're gonna, you know, uh, go ahead and solder this into the, the wiring into the switch panel I have in the truck. And then this is obviously to connect up the light. And then let's take a look at our light. So, looks very nice. So pay, pay mind, you do have a right hand and a left hand side. I noticed this, so this has lights on the outside, but it's only on one side. So this is a left hand side. You see we have LED lights here on the side, but not there. So you wanna make sure you're mounting this on the, on the side that you want these on. So this will be on the, the left hand side of the truck. And uh, you can go ahead and compare that to our, our flood pair. You can see the flood has all those divots and the reflectors to disperse the light a lot more. So let's get to mounting these lights and then we're gonna work on wiring. So for starters, this is a 2019 Ram 1500 Classic. So it should be the same for all fourth gen Rams. Um, I have already gone and installed the first part of the mounting bracket here. So this mounting bracket's gonna come in two parts because I'm doing two lights on either side, but if you loosen these up, I think these are a 13 millimeter bolt, if I recall correctly. Loosen it up, it's easier if you have two friends or another friend to help you hold the hood in place because the hood will slide a little bit. Um, but you loosen this up and you're gonna put this in between the nut and the little bracket right here that holds on the hood. Um, once you get that installed, if all you're gonna be doing is one light on each side, then you're done, but I'm doing two lights on each side. So we're gonna be installing these that I got from American Trucks. Hey, do a minute. Pretty much gonna mount up right here and it allows you to install two LED pods there. So I have the brackets mounted pretty straightforward. Only way you can really do this uh, is with the nut on the bottom. I guess unless you were to install this, install this bracket before you were to install this one. Ooh, there we go. Before you were to install this one. Um, but I don't think it really makes a difference. It's just a bolt, a uh, lock washer, and a nut. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing of the lights themselves. So we have the lights installed here in the bumper. It was a definitely a two person project trying to get at those bolts down there. And then the bolts on the back side of this, which it's pretty tight in here. Um, don't have a whole lot of work in room. If you guys are looking at putting lights in an aftermarket bumper, highly, highly, highly recommend putting the lights in before you install the bumper because it was a, pain in the rear end doing this while it was installed on the truck.
So, took quite a bit of time, but we got the rear lights rooted up underneath the truck all the way up to the switch, switch box here, um, relay box, whatever the hell you call this thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off, flip the power to my 60 amp relay so we don't have any power going to here at all. Um, so, the front two that I have wired in is just one set of lights. Uh, the rear, I have four sets of lights, which at uh, 12 volts, I think, works out to, they're, they're 50 watts of light, 12 volts. So uh, the calculator I looked up online said it was about 16 amps online. We don't have a 16 amp option, so I'm gonna have to wire these rear lights into our 20 amp switch. We have two fives, two tens, two twenties, and two thirties. Um, no matter what, at any time, you cannot have more than so what I intended to say here was you cannot have more than 60 amps at one time running through this uh, relay box here, switch box thing. Uh, I said 60 watts in the video, obviously that's incorrect. So here we are with a voiceover. Okay, so we're back. We have this negative terminal trimmed up here. Those are in there. Snug of the bug. Just gonna get some electrical tape. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Get our garbage out of here. So we are done, I think. The fronts have wired up on two separate switches. I have my spots and my uh, floods here wired to separate switches so I can either you know use the ditch lighting or the front lighting depending on which I want. Um, wiring is ooh, this gimbal freaks out sometimes. Tucked up underneath here. Both of them are on both sides. This one shoots down here up into there which is where my wiring harness connects everything and they both come out just down there. And the rears obviously start at the rear bumper, go all the way underneath the truck, run all the way up here, and then everything wired into the switch panel, which I still need to electric tape this just so it looks a little nicer. But let's see what these bad boys look like in the daylight. And tonight we'll see what they look like uh, in the evening. So I have us on a uh, pretty dark road here. Obviously you can see it's pretty much pitch black except for the intersection behind me. Um, the tip, just the headlights on the truck itself, obviously they do a little bit. Here's our brights. Now for the Harbor Freight spotlights, there is the spot and here's the flood. Now, 
I have the floods pointed out pretty far, so I don't have a lot of side lighting as you can see. But when those floods kick on, boy, do they put out a bunch of light. And golly, what a difference these things make, let me tell you. Let's just do a little bit of just do a little bit of driving here without them for a second. Keep in mind, these are the brights on my truck on right now. And you kick the LED lights on and boy, does it really light the road up. Another quick example for you guys. Let's get this uh, centered up here. My uh, rear bumper, aftermarket rear bumper, came with some lights that pretty much blind my rear camera when it's dark outside. However, the new reverse lights have corrected that problem. Looks a little washed out on camera here, but uh, I assure you in person looking at that screen, it is a significant difference and I'll give you guys a quick in person before and after here. I'll go back here and I'll set you down so as before pitch black and there you have it really lights the place up man freaking bright I'll tell you that all right well if you guys enjoy like the video and uh, leave a comment on what other Harbor Freight lights or automotive accessories you'd like me to install and review for you guys